Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm going to start with a tune called Say Darling Say. song uh, that I was commissioned to write by the AARP in my town. <laughs> Pretty strange for them to give me money before I give it to them, I think. But uh, They paid me $500 in advance if I could write this song in two weeks before a performance they had. And of course, being about a week before Christmas, I said, yeah, I could use that $500. I can write a song. So. Then they gave me some parameters, uh, which were, I have to write a song about uh, people over 50 reinventing their lives uh, in relation to 100 years from now and 100 years back. I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. Another 500 maybe? <laughs> but, so it was, it was a hard song for me to write, it turns out, but it broke a big uh, writer's block that I had. Here it is, um, it's called Nowhere in Time. 
And it doesn't really make much sense for what they wanted, I don't think, but they accepted it. Never saved unless there is something, something I don't know. Like, where do we come from? Does anybody know? 1914, a hundred years ago, people asking questions, nobody knows the answers to. Like where do we go? And where do we come from? Does anybody know? But I ain't going nowhere Nowhere in time I am only here right now I am yours and you are mine But sometimes I wonder If stories told are true We were part of everything And I'm a part of you Much. Oh, 
last time I um, was in Floyd, I came to the country store and there was a, a dance floor area in front. Um, so we'll we'll play a, a, a fiddle tune. Feel free to dance in the aisles if you want, or in the back. Or up here on the stage if you're really yeah, brave. Yeah. <laughs> this one's called the Polecat Blues. to give you a little coal miner song here. Um, it was in, I was inspired to write this song from the late great uh, Doc Boggs. Uh, his beautiful banjo playing and songwriting is very spooky and it's almost Halloween. So I'm almost, well yeah. A song about being stuck down in a coal mine. It's called Veins of Coal. darkness you feel the wind while I break the storm in the blackness far below you my blood runs through veins of coal veins of coal veins of coal my blood runs through veins of coal The shaft of daylight collapsed behind us Sirens scream up the valley, families moan In the blackness, my breath is fading In an ocean of frozen stone Frozen stone, frozen stone In an ocean of frozen stone Do you in a cage, in a cave underground Is she crying 
Or is she singing in a cage, in a cage, under a ground? Connected to my soul, I am floating right beside you. Though you touch me, I am alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. Though you touch me, I am alone. Carry me high into the mountains and pray the good Lord takes my soul. Do not place me beneath the surface. I have been there for far too long, far too long, far too long. I have been. Let the winds blow through my rib cage. Let the sunshine bleach my skull. Someday my tears will reach the ocean, and my bones will turn into coal. Turn to coal. Turn to coal. My bones. from the singing of Texas Gladden, and it's called Cold Mountain. Rosie Newton on the violin. And Richie Stearns on the banjo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. One, two, three.
song that was written by a, a dear friend of ours that I'm sure you maybe have seen around here on occasion. His name is Dirk Powell. And he uh, lives down in Louisiana. He wrote this next song called Waterbound.
Thank you, folks. Thank you. We are the new Smoky Valley Boys, and we're just tickled to death to be here tonight. And uh, we're mighty glad that y'all joined us here tonight for the Floyd Radio Show. And uh, we're going to play you some dance music, some old-time music, the music that uh, we heard, all of us heard, and played down in Surrey County. And uh, all of us, uh, well, most of us were fortunate that we got to spend uh, a lot of time with Benton Flippin'. And uh, Benton and Paul Suffin, along with a few others, started the original Smoky Valley Boys back in 1971. And when Benton passed away, there was a big void in uh, the world of string band music. And, uh, you know, it was a pretty particular style and way that they played. And uh, we're going to bring that back. So... get west come around and sing your old number here that uh, paul Sutton used to sing in the smoky valley boys a long time ago called meet me in the moonlight <laughs> Fiddler's conventions and contests and things like that about 10, 12 years ago. Um, I'd always see Benton there with his van, 
and you would never be far away. And I remember wondering, you know, I'd see you get up there and play with him in the contest and be like, how did Andy get this great gig with Benton Flippin? Benton was one of my favorite fiddlers. So tell us a little bit about how you met Benton and well, got to playing uh, with him. When I was about um, 12 or 13 years old, I was already starting to play and mostly playing um, bluegrass, but I was getting into old time music and Tommy Gerald, you know, folks like that. And I had heard or seen the name Benton Flippin, but wasn't familiar with his music. And I happened to be out in Tennessee and and out at a record shop and picked up his record that you know it was a used record out there and thought well I'll just get this and try it out and see what it is you know I read on the back that he was from Mount Airy and that was interesting you know and uh, so listened to the record and just fell in love with his music just loved it just couldn't get enough of his playing you know and bought every all everything else his CDs and tapes that he had out at the time and uh, heard on WPA, WPAQ not long after that that. He was going to be playing a square dance in Ararat, Virginia. So here I am, you know, 12, 13 year old boy, get real excited because I just found out that uh, not only is he still alive and playing, but he's 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 playing out, you know, and uh, and playing square dances just like you know the old days. It hadn't stopped. So I begged my dad and uh, to take me up there to square dance. And being a young man, I always carried my guitar with me everywhere. And Benton was short a guitar player that night. So, you know, I was I was brave enough to ask him if I could sit in. I told him that I'd listened to his record a whole lot, and, you know, I thought I knew his music, and, and I sat in with him, and um, he hired me that night. Said, said, I, said I played just fine with him after, after the show, and he hired me, so. That's great. That's great. So, obviously, you've studied, you know, Benton's style, and you've really taken it in, and I was wondering if you might share with us what you think makes Benton's style so distinctive. Well, Benton... Um, he was influenced by a lot of things. Um, uh, he had a, a fellow that he really kind of hung close with when he was learning the fiddle named Esker Hutchins, who lived over in the Dobson, North Carolina area. And so he picked up right smart from Esker, and you can hear that influence in his playing, you know, if you go back and listen to Esker. And uh, Benton had large hands, really big hands, and it was hard for him to note the fiddle in the conventional manner, or what some folks might call the classical manner or whatever. And uh, so because of that, he had to note the fiddle very differently, and he had to incorporate a lot of slides, which in turn made his music sound really bluesy. And uh, that's one of the primary characteristics of his fiddle playing is that it's real bluesy sounding, you know? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks. Let's hear one more from the new Smoky Valley Boys. We'll do one more here, and we'll do, this is kind of one of Benton's signature tunes. He, he basically wrote this tune um, based off of another fellas playing. It's called Polecat Blues.
Thank you, folks. Thank you. I want to take a second to introduce the boys here playing. Uh, over here, fooling with this old hateful banjo. <laughs> My favorite old time banjo picker in the world. Just tickled to death that I get to play with him all the time. From Galax, Virginia, Kevin Four. Back here on the mandolin, and you don't see mandolin a whole lot in old time music, but. Uh, it was important to the Smoky Valley boy sound, and uh, I, he's about the only boy I'd rather have play in the mandolin with us here. And uh, from over in the State Road area of North Carolina, Todd Hyatt. <laughs> Back here on the, the big bass and kicking other basses around and all that. <laughs> Very good friend of ours, uh, and he's also providing all this wonderful sound here uh, tonight. And he always makes it sound really good here. Every time we've played here, it just always sounds great. Give a hand for Mr. Joe DeJarnett. <laughs> Over here, I like to think of, think of him as my uh, partner in crime because it's not too often that we do shows that me and him ain't on the stage here together. Uh, number one guitar player doing a lot of the singing here with this group and uh, always took up to play music with him. Originally from Mount Airy, currently living down in Raleigh, North Carolina, West Clifton. And this old boy over here doing all the talking to you, doing a mighty fine job. Honestly, I think one of the best old-time fiddle players in the business, one of the best around. Been playing music with him for a long time, like he said, having a lot of good times together over the years. And uh, He's living in Mount Airy, North Carolina these days, but I always say this over here is the pride of Pilot Mountain, North Carolina. Give a hand for Andy Edmonds, if you will. <laughs> We'll get uh, Wes to sing a, go sing a gospel number now. We like uh, to include a gospel number or two when we can. It's an old number that Paul Suffin used to sing called Canaan's Land.
me Now mama don't go, don't hinder me I'm on my way, praise the Lord, I'm on my way I'm on my way to Canaan's land I'm on my way to Canaan's land I'm on my way to Canaan's land I'm on my way, praise the Lord, I'm on my way We ain't seen nobody dancing out there. There ain't much room, but now you can get in that little dance, that little uh, aisle right there and flat foot a step or two. We're going to play a good old fiddle tune here. It's getting close to that time of year. Uh, back down in Surrey County, they used to have a long tradition of celebrating Christmas for a couple of weeks at a time from December 25th all the way to old Christmas, January 6th. They'd have parties and dancing and all kinds of good things every night for those few weeks there and we'll play you the tune that came about from all that celebrating called breaking up christmas <laughs>
give a hand for the Mighty Fine dancing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mighty Fine. You guys sound great. Do you got one more to take us home? We do. All right. Give it up for the new Smoky Valley Boys. <laughs> 